Creating your perfect vegetable garden is easy with Grow Planner from Mother Earth News. First, tap the New Plan button, give your plan a name, and check that the selected year is for the correct growing season. Then, choose the size for your whole vegetable garden area by tapping the width or length values. Be sure to make this large enough for the paths and space around your vegetable beds as well as the growing area. When you tap the Create button, your plan is added to the desktop and opened. The buttons on the left make it easy to switch between adding things to your plan or selecting previously placed objects. Tapping the box under the Add button reveals the selection area. Use the icons on the left to switch between shapes and plants. Tap the plan to close the selection area. Objects are added to a plan by holding your finger where you wish to start and then dragging it out to the finishing position. Once placed on the plan, shapes can be resized using the blue handles or rotated using the rotation handles. Switch to selection mode if you wish to move or alter other objects which have already been placed on your plan. Tap an object to select it or to pick it up. You can then hold and drag it to a new position. Tap the settings button if you wish to delete it, change it, or copy it to the clipboard. You can paste objects by selecting the paste button and then tapping where you would like them pasted on your plan. If you want to move multiple objects, tap and hold, then drag out a selection box around them. Once selected, hold and drag them to move them as a group. If your garden area isn't rectangular, just create a plan big enough for it to fit into and then add lines to mark the boundaries. Lines can also be used to create non-standard shapes, such as this arrow-shaped bed, and by dragging the middle handle, you can create curves. To add plants, first open the selection area and tap the plant icon. Either scroll down the list or use the alphabetical index to jump to the plant you are looking for. Each plant has all the essential facts listed to help you choose the best soil and position. To add a single plant, just tap and hold it where you want to place it. To add a row of plants, hold and drag out the row. As you do so, the length of the row and the number of plants that will fit into the space are displayed. Rows can be turned into blocks by dragging the middle handle. The colored background behind the plants shows the minimum space they require to grow well. The color represents the crop family, which helps when choosing where to place them. For example, all brassicas, or cabbage family plants, have a light green background and are often grown in the same bed so that fine netting can be used to prevent them from being eaten by caterpillars or cabbage worm. In smaller gardens, another technique is to mix up the plant families to help confuse pests such as aphids. If you use a square foot gardening method where plants are grown closely spaced in deep raised beds, then tapping this button will switch to square foot gardening mode. Any plant that will fit into a square foot can then be added and will show the number of plants in that square. You can't add rows or blocks of plants while in square foot gardening mode except for large plants that won't fit into a single square. Tapping the square foot gardening mode button again returns you to the standard method of adding and spacing plants. Tapping the plants button at the bottom brings up a complete list of plants from your plan and shows the recommended planting times for your area. This list is based on your average frost dates, which Grow Planner looked up from our database of thousands of weather stations. The blue bars show when you should start seeds in a sunny area indoors or under cover, for example, in a greenhouse. The green bars show when you can sow seed directly into the soil or transfer seedlings into the ground. You'll notice that some plants don't have blue lines because they are usually sown directly outside rather than being started in pots. The orange bars show the possible range of harvest dates. If a plant doesn't show any dates, you probably don't have a long enough growing season to grow it, unless you extend it with something like a greenhouse or other frost protection. Tap the arrow to the right to view planting information for that plant, or to add notes for that particular plant or variety in this year's plan. If you want to add general notes about your garden for the year, use the journal area. Adding notes is a great way to learn from your mistakes, remind yourself what worked well, and remember what you want to change next year. 
Grow Planner includes information about thousands of varieties of plants from popular seed suppliers. When a plant is selected, you can tap the settings button and then tap configure to bring up the list. Either browse varieties from all catalogs or tap the filter icon to view varieties from just one supplier. To help decide which varieties you want to grow, just tap the arrow to the right to view the description. If a variety you want to grow isn't on the list, just add it by tapping create new variety. As well as specifying the name, this also enables you to set custom planting dates by tapping the lines on the calendar or to set different spacing. Single plants or plants in blocks use the first measurement. Plants in rows use the other two measurements because the rows are often spaced differently. By placing plants closer together along the row and leaving a larger gap between the rows, the plants still get enough room to grow, but there is more space to get between the rows for weeding and harvesting. Adding your own custom variety is also the way to add plants that aren't on the list. First, choose one of the generic plant icons, other, herb, or fruit for example. Then, add the plant to your plan and open the variety box. Create a new variety with the name of the plant, in this case, Tayberry, and customize the spacing and dates. Also on the configure menu, you can mark a plant as only being in the ground between, say, March and July. Once set, tapping the month indicator at the top of the plan means you can view just what's actually taking up space in that month. For example, if we select August, the lettuce disappears and we can add a second crop. This makes succession planting easy to organize so that you can get more than one crop during the year if your season is long enough. By using a combination of shapes and plants, you can easily build up detailed plans for your garden, rearranging plants between beds until you get the perfect layout. When the plan is complete, tap the export button to share it. You can easily print it to any AirPrint equipped printer email it to friends and family, or send a copy to another app. If you have an online account, you can also publish your plan, plants, and notes to their very own web page, making it simple to access from a PC or to view from any mobile device that has internet access. When you come to plan next year's garden, you don't need to start from scratch. Just tap the plan year and slide along to the year you wish to add. Select it and you'll be taken to your plan with all the plants removed except for any that are perennials or have been marked as being in the ground over winter. Now, as you select plants, you'll get crop rotation warnings to show where to avoid planting. For example, select peppers and you'll see flashing red areas where plants from the same crop family such as tomatoes were grown in previous years. Grow Planner remembers up to five years of plant positions. The lighter the red area, the further back in time the warning comes from. Rotating crops by avoiding these areas will help prevent the buildup of pests or the depletion of nutrients in the soil, resulting in healthier plants and a better harvest. Back on the desktop, select the settings page if you need to change the frost dates used to calculate recommended planting times for your garden. In hot climates where some crops can't be grown through the summer, you will probably want to have the split season option selected. This divides the growing season into separate spring and fall planting times for the cool season crops that require it. The settings page is also where you can synchronize your plans with a free online account. Grow Planner will then keep online backups for you and can send you planting reminders by email twice a month, along with our newsletter and articles to help you get the most from your garden. If you already use the online garden planner, just enter your login details to sign in and synchronize. If not, tapping the Create an Account button will guide you through the process of creating your free account. Make sure your email address is correct, as it will be used to send you a code which you enter to activate your account. Activation emails are sent out immediately, so you may need to check your junk mail folder if it doesn't show up after 10 minutes. With a wealth of other features and more to come in the future, Grow Planner is the ideal way to plan your crops. Use it out in the garden or in the comfort of your own home to grow your best ever harvest.